not only does Lizzie have the ability to to sell parts or major units or anything like that, but it also has the ability to handle service, the uh, service department. So what we're going to do in this video is actually go through how to create a service ticket. Now there's a, the, the entire service module is very, very uh, in depth. Uh, there's a lot of functionality there, so we're not going to even attempt to get through all of it. I uh, just want to kind of show you how to create a service ticket, and I'll mention some of the things along the way that it can do, but we're not going to get into the, the full scope of every single thing that you can do in service. Um, to get started, we're going to go to the invoicing module, and we're going to go to service tickets instead of invoices, and we're going to create a new service ticket. Now, you might be asking yourself why you're going to invoicing to create a service ticket, and the answer is we're, we try when we're writing this application to eliminate as much overlap as possible. And one of the things that ends up happening is a service module ends up, if you think about it, it ends up becoming an invoice that the customer is going to have to pay. So to us, it made more sense to go ahead and put them together, have the flow and the process is all exactly the same for the parts department and the service department. And now we can cross train employees without having to go through a lot of extra work. So. That's really the short answer as to why we did that. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to tell Lizzie that we're going to just use the current contact. Um, so we'll select use current contact. And the very first thing we need to do is actually enter a VIN number or a serial number for the particular unit that we're actually going to be putting on the service ticket. So I'm just going to come down here and add a unit to the particular service ticket. Now there's a lot of information here. Um, we have history. The history is actually tracked for the unit, not the customer, which means that I can tell you every customer that's ever owned the unit and every single time it's ever come into the shop or any internals that have been done along the way. So we've got a, a complete picture of everything that we've done to that particular unit uh, anytime it has come into to our shop. Now, the other thing we can do is we can edit the unit and add additional information like odometers or mileage in and out, um, uh, lots of other things that are available here, including notes. Um, but the primary thing is we're trying to attach a unit to the, the service ticket. Um, you can attach more than one unit to a service ticket. Um, we don't really recommend that you do that unless you're servicing a boat where you got a trailer and a boat that have to stay together. Um, because typically you're going to want to cash out the, whichever one you get done first. Uh, you'd like for the customer to go ahead and be able to come pay for it and get it out of your system. Um, if you put a bunch of stuff on one service ticket, then you kind of have to get everything finished before you can cash that service ticket out. So once we get the unit on the service ticket, we're going to go over to our job list. And this is where we actually tell Lizzie what we're going to do or what the customer needs done to that particular unit. So there's a couple different ways to get jobs on here. The first one is I'll just do an add new job and we'll do it manually. Uh, you've got a number of different uh, options here. Again, I'm not going to possibly get through all of this stuff in this video. I'm just going to do the basics. So we're just going to say that we're going to do a tune up. And we're going to uh, come down here and just put in, you know, tune up and check tires. So that's what they told us they want done. And we're going to save that job. And that's all there is to putting in what needs to be done to that particular service ticket. Now, another option is to create templates. And Lizzie has got an extremely powerful template engine. And in fact, Lizzie can actually go in if you set the template up. She can go in and tell you exactly how much sheetrock, paint, mud, and everything else you need to do to finish out a wall in a house based on the, the linear feet of, of that particular wall. Um, so it, it can be really, really powerful in what it can help you to, to do as far as quoting and, and doing invoices and service tickets. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to tell it we're going to do an oil change and we're going to do it on a GSX R1000 and we'll tell it that it's an oil change and we'll just tell it to save the, the job. So in that amount of time, I have added the oil change job, but some of the things that, are, that have happened here is I already have labor rates on here. I already have notes on here. And if we go over here to the items list, you'll see that it has already pulled the part out of inventory to put on the service ticket. So a lot of things happen when we go in and use templates. They're, like I said, they're very powerful and useful if you go in and set them up. 
Um, the last thing I'll show you here is the labor time. This is internal use only. This is where we actually log the mechanics time. And, and to be specific, Lizzie has the ability to have a terminal for each mechanic where they start and stop their time on each job. And then Lizzie will track the amount of time that they spend on the job versus the amount of time that they actually build out and can give you some efficiencies and stuff for that mechanic to help with commissions and, and other things. So again, I apologize. There's no way that, that I could get through the entire process in one video. Um, there is a lot to the service module inside of Lizzie, including the ability to schedule service and work off of uh, you know all types of schedules and, and that kind of thing as well as with everything else, completely integrated in with the calendar, the payroll, you know, timesheets, everything else is all integrated into a single solution. So the, uh, the idea was just to kind of give you a, a brief overview of what, what's capable or what Lizzie is, is capable of doing here, and, and hopefully we've at least shown you that.